Gemini, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an energy reading, so always check out your, your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign because honestly, Gemini, you'll be surprised at how much the energy is impacting you. If you're looking for a deeper reading or to continue this message with me, there's always an extended after every reading, and that link is in the description box right below. I hope you guys can join me for that. If you haven't yet already, please do subscribe to the channel and then ring that bell. Select all notifications so you know when I upload your favorite content. Gemini comes out every single Thursday, and I know it's going to come to you at the time it's supposed to come to you. Um, if you want even more astrology and spiritual uh, content, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. I'll attach the link above. I hope you can come visit me there and subscribe over there as well. And if you want to go live with me, Gemini, come over to Instagram. I have an Instagram feed. It is at born underscore without underscore boundaries over on Instagram. So I hope you can go live with me there. You ready? Let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Gemini, what is this energy? I'm curious. Playing, playing hard to, fuck. Tower, sudden change, instant change, complete change. You know why? It's because you're done. It's you're done. You're done, you're done, you're done with something. Or it's happening outside of you. We're going to get more information, but all of a sudden things change and then we have king of swords that means that you've made a decision all of a sudden and this is with your logic and your thoughtfulness and a sense of understanding and objectivity a sense of i'm changing things i'm making a decision your decision changes maybe your attitude changes or people think your attitude changes um five of wands is here because it was too much crap you like I'm going to go ahead and say you got sick of the crap, but there was like too many voices or too much. Um, there could be, um, hold on, there could be lawsuits. This could be lawsuits. This could just be stuff that is clogging up the works for you. All of a sudden it changes. Or all of a sudden you change toward it. There could also be a decision that comes through that shocks you. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It means that a decision all of a sudden comes through or that there's some sort of like, I don't know file someone somebody could have filed a lawsuit on you all of a sudden there's just some sort of maybe even legal action that you decided to take or that's taken against you or no oh, there's just a gangle of shit knave of swords is here so somebody is definitely talking shit knave of swords is about it comes to you through the internet it comes to you online it comes to you through an email it's little chatter it's little chit chat or it's somebody who doesn't really know what the f they're talking about but they talk in any way. Okay. Um, and then we have Leo in the past. So this could be a past romance or a past relationship, a past romantic partner. Um, this could also be based on past success, um, some sort of uh, a success or leadership in some way. This is coming up in the past. Um, then we have money that's coming to you. So mm, I like this energy. Um, word coming out, there's some sort of connection, opportunity, um, 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 communication coming through that says, guess what? Money's coming in. And then Ace of Swords. Holy shit. Did you want victory, baby boo? Because you're about to get it. This is clarity. This is um, communication. This is a win or a triumph or like a new beginning in something that you fought really hard for, a success of some sort. And then we have the devil. The fuck is this? Maybe that's what you're defeating. Let's see though. Why is the devil here? Can you please? Why is the devil here? It could also be finally being able to overcome some sort of addiction or some sort of bad um, male malevolent energy or control. Somebody's had control over you, right? Being able to cut the ties um, or win a victory over this. Why is the devil card here? Could even be some sort of obsessive behavior, obsessive thoughts, because there's a judgment that's been made. 
the devil is here. It's almost like rapture. It's like that's kind of what it is because you have the judgment card and the devil here. The sense of a decision that has been made, a choice that has been made, a choice that's been made, sort of like somebody took leadership of this. This is this is like a decision that's been made on high, an executive decision about who was right and who was wrong and who was really at fault. Um, or you finally realized that you were dealing with the devil, right? You, you finally realized it, and maybe you haven't realized it for a while, but you know what? It doesn't matter because you don't have to go 15 day 15 years in a day right that's i always say that you can have made a mistake for 15 years straight and you don't have to go 50 15 years in a day this is when you wake up and realize oh my god look at what's been going on look at what i've been really dealing with like look at look at the seediness look at the shadiness look at the behavior there's something here that's there's a decision that's been made coming down from on high um, maybe have to do, like I said, with lawsuits or just competition or people coming at you with a bunch of red tape or formalities or talking shit, something like that, cutting through that. Oh, I want to know. I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know what, what is this? What is this message that's coming through, um, about how hard somebody worked? about how much somebody was doing. Somebody took on a lot of extra responsibilities. Somebody was, was working really hard. Um, and, ooh, somebody was working really hard at being shitty with money. It's like, oh, hold on, hold on. This is a defeat, underlying defeat. This could even be karmic, which is why the devil's here. The devil's here like you're dealing with karma. You're finally figuring it out. You're like ending, like this karmic cycle finally becomes realized. It's like recognize, holy shit. And this is five of swords in the past, coming up in the past, even like way in the past, like underlying past, past life shit. That's telling you this is past life shit. This is temperance, major arcana. Once again, there's lots of major arcana here. You finally worked it out. You finally worked out your fucking karma right? You finally got it. You finally realized that it's karma. So this could be past life, but karma is usually like something from the past of this life, not a past life because Dharma is from a past life, right? So, so this is, this is some sort of karmic cycle. You've done the work to finally, um, finally work it out and finally realize what was screwing you. Okay. And that's how we start out your reading. Who are we dealing with here? Who are we dealing with here? I want Gemini for Gemini. Oh, for Gemini. Oh, prosperity and freedom. Finally, there's some sort of uh, financial liberation here. Oh, what were you paying somebody something? Or, but, or you're just taking your own freedom. And you're just, you've won it. You've earned it. You've earned this freedom from these financial obligations, especially. I am balanced. Look at this. This is that moon energy. I am balanced. There's a new moon today, Gemini. So finally, there's a sense of balancing out. I am balanced. Ooh, let's go to the moon cards because I really want to know. Gemini. 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 What has balanced out? It's like some a fair decision has finally been made. Um, don't let your past hold you back. We're, more self, no energy, more karma, more, more where we've begun, right? This sense of where we started, where we began. We're, we're not letting that hold us back. We're, we're liberated from our karma. We're liber liberated from where we began. We're, 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 we're being, we're being, it's like you're, you're able to overcome those mistakes you've made or those mindsets that you've had. You've learned your lesson in some ways. Um, expect powerful change, more of it. Oh, I'm getting chills. So this is like expect powerful change. This is a total eclipse, dude. Expect powerful change. What can I say? That's kind of what this is. It's like, that's what's going to happen. Big changes and hold your vision. 
Hold your vision. Why? Because now doors are finally going to be able to open up for you. Why? Because shit has shifted. Right? It's like the karma has been dealt. The deal has been dealt. All the cards are on the table. Ooh. Who are we dealing with, though? Who are we dealing with? Oh, this could be, this could be, like I said, a younger you. A sense of being petty with shit when you were youthful. Imagine. Ooh, what have you been dreaming of? What have you been dreaming of? I think you've been dreaming of this freedom for a while. Of finally being liberated. Right? And this sense of like, I don't know, Gemini. Are you still going to be the person you started out when you come out on the other side of this? I mean, isn't the point to change? We have imagine here. This is still so uh, too abstract and like obscure. Um, it's pissing me off. I need specifics, please. Gemini. 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 What are the specifics, dude? What are you imagining? What are you imagining? What is this imagine card? I think, you know what the change is going to happen in... It, the change is happening in the way that you used to see things. Or the way people used to see you. What is this imagine? What is this imagine? Page of Pentacles. A new opportunity, a new person. Maybe um, somebody who's younger or shorter in stature. Um, a, a, new, a new opportunity. A new opportunity. Could be entry level it's almost like you don't care if you have to start entry level because you don't care if you have to start over again the important part is the freedom a sense of just like getting away from these obligations the lovers is here not the lovers but two of cups so this could be, because this is coming a little bit in the future, this sense of two people coming together. And it's usually somebody that you already know. They've been a friend for a long time. You could be making up as well. You could be able to finally release and let go and let go of all this kind of tension. But more or less, I think that there's, there's well, there's definitely romance coming in the future. That's, that's guaranteed. So ultimately, there's just a sense of you get to start over. You can plant the seeds now. You're free to. What's that about? What is that about? More or less, who is this about? No, I don't want those cards yet. Stop. No. Who is this about? Who is this about for Gemini? No, oh, see, that was exhausted. Who is this about? <sighs> this is unexpected help is coming from a place that you didn't expect it to come from. Unexpected word or unexpected information, maybe just unexpected opportunity is coming. Why, how, why now? Why, how, and 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 why now? Nothing's coming out. All of a sudden, the fucking cards go, go, sh oh, shit. Gemini. Gemini energy. Gemini. All of a sudden, why are the cards silent? What's going on? <sighs> Who 
Who is this? What's going on with Gemini? Why? How and why now? There's some woman here. Darker hair, brown eyes, traveler, move in a new direction. I just saw 15, 15 too. This is a new divine counterpart. You could be, in other words, if this, especially if this has to do with relationships, you are definitely picking a relationship or a person that is completely different than you normally would have picked. And there's also a sense of, there's a sense of moving on finally being able to move on from whatever situation you were stuck in like it's just like the the dawn comes out and you're over it move in a new direction gemini and that's what it is you're finally free you're finally free to move in a new direction now this is free in your thoughts but it's also free in your pocketbook it's like also free in terms of obligations. It's also free in terms of your karma. Whatever you were in that you couldn't get out of, you've finished it up. You've exhausted it. You've, you've completed it, right? And this is now your ability to move on. And you are going to move on. Gemini. Gemini. Um, we have Shalom. Uh, uh, Sholim, um, master, be graceful in movement and action. And medicine guardian, be opening, be open to healing information. Wow. That's awesome. This is also a fighter. Some fighter. Some kind of fighter. Who is this fighter? Some sort of fighter. Something that clears up your heart because this is heart chakra energy. Um, um, some sense of maybe somebody sticking up for you or you're being able to stick up for yourself and somebody's defending you. Um, a, a, a real break breakthrough here. A real breakthrough here. Um, wow. I think it's like an unexpected coupling, an unexpected match. Uh, definitely unex maybe unexpected help, but good help and strong help and somebody who is very, will very much easily defend. This is about defend or protect. Look at this. A breakthrough in something, maybe a breakthrough you've been fighting for. Ooh. What is this that they've been fighting for? that Gemini has been fighting for. What has Gemini been fighting for? You are safe. Angels want you to know that. Blow off some steam. There's gonna be, it's gonna be done. It's gonna be totally exhausted in the future. Hold on. You are safe. Rise and shine. It's a new day. Somebody's protecting you. And I feel like you're away. It's almost like maybe you're on vacation somewhere. You're not in your normal house or where you normally are. Or you're getting away. And that's where you find this connection, this new safety. If you have a chance, get away. Definitely. Blow off some steam is here in reverse. I feel like in some ways that you, you still have some energy with somebody that you're going to be reconnecting with, but you couldn't reconnect with them until you got all this other shit completely fixed. And I don't know what this person with dark hair is. Dark hair is, who are they? But it's almost like you're, you're able to finally get away from where you were stuck. I just keep hearing that over and over again. And I looked up and I saw 9-11. The fuck is that? <sighs> Gemini. Gemini. Oh. I just feel like we're like tiptoeing, right? We're like we're like on a we're we're towing a line. I don't even know. Let's go in dreams because we said we're imagine, right? I, I honestly don't think this is a completely unexpected. Having to do a wedding? Ooh, who are you getting married to, yo? Wealth. This isn't wedding. This is wealth. You're coming into some money. 
and house. Are you moving somewhere? Could be coming in to money that you inherited. This is also money maybe, um, yeah, from selling something or investing money. But there's definitely a sense of, yeah, you're like, like what I say, money is clearing up. Money is being liberated. It's like the tethers are off you. I'm going to get into the nitty gritty. I hope you guys can come with me. The link is down below to the extended. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like it and then share it on your social media platforms. And if you can, come on over and join me. I'll see you guys soon.